Welcome, welcome everybody to the Maasai Mara in Kenya. My name is Brett Yersmith. I have Zander, aka Eggsy, on a camera with me today. And we are in Kenya. Can you believe it? We've been working really hard to try to bring you, bring you some pictures as you can see. You'll see this is not our normal filming vehicle. We've uh, fortunately been helped by Angama. We're using one of their vehicles and we've got Douglas, who's one of their best guides on the back with me, making sure I don't get lost or do anything silly. But we do have a Maasai giraffe for you. There we go, a lovely, beautiful female Maasai giraffe. I know a lot of you are lovers of giraffe and you are going to love the Mara because we probably see 200 to 300 giraffe a day while we're driving around and uh, the biggest group I've seen so far is 40 at this moment there are only two but uh, while we're out this morning we managed to find some lions and they belong to the Angama pride which I think is a pride of lions we're going to be spending a lot of time with uh, there are currently four females and seven cubs but one of them is mating with one of the dominant males in a coalition somewhere in this area. So we're going to be meandering on a little bit. Oh, what's that in the grass? Oh, it's a warthog. I got excited. The grass is very long as you can see. The wildebeest haven't arrived. And uh, once they do, uh, they're going to be able to uh, flatten, the, flatten the grass. And uh, we'll be able to see a bit more. Now, I don't know, Eggsy, if you come across here, we've got a gap through here. Now, if we go to look down here, we're looking down towards the Mara River. There were probably about 300 elephants spread across here earlier today. I can see at least three different herds. Let me get my binoculars. And we always used to talk about how important looking with your binoculars was when we were at Cheetah Plains. It has now become the most important thing. Because of all this grass, it's near impossible to track actual tracks. So we're going to be, oh, I see, are those vultures on the ground? No, they're not. And, and, but yes, you see lots of ellies there. So we are going to slowly meander our way down there. We're hopefully going to catch up with the lions before we get there. Um, but this is very, very exciting. Isn't this wonderful? We get to meet a whole host of new animals, new species, new characters. And uh, it is just the most complete different world to what? Oh! What gave the giraffe a fright? Oh, the warthog! <laughs> the warthog gave the giraffe a fright. The giraffe just took off uh, and staring into the, into the grass of that. And Betty is wondering, is that the same species of giraffe we get at Juma? No, it is not, Betty. It is a subspecies. And if you look carefully at its exquisite coat, uh, it is a very different markings. It is called the Maasai giraffe. And uh, there's the culprit. Uh, if we come across to the left eggs, that gave that poor giraffe heart failure. She's gone back to feeding. And the warthog is running along the edge of those croton thickets. Oh no, eggs. The, uh, it's gone now, don't worry. Right. To the right eggs. Sorry, the warthog has disappeared. We will be seeing lots and lots of warthog. Um, you can just see him. Uh, on the edge of those thickets, eggs, his tail occasionally pops out. Ah, alas. He has made himself vanishing. But anyway, wonderful way to start. So we're going to start moving further forward. And we're going to try to see if we can get our first, uh, or maybe not the first, I think you might have seen them with James, but our first view, or my first view, live of the Angama Pride of Lions. While we do that, let's jump back on board with Byron, who's sitting at Chitwa Chitwa. <laughs> 